having a busy, busy day. Okay. And I'm here with one of my special girls, because you must be popular, because you got me into a party that was like locked down. Lon's Pierce. What's up, everyone? Is that your real name? Uh, yeah. Really? No. <laughs> no, because I, I, I'm going to smell you know people. No, no. You know what? Lons was actually just always like a nickname since I was a kid, like, you know, forever. So it, it's short for Alana, but Lons is. Oh, I like Lons. And what's this Pierce's? Pierce is just like, you know, we all have our, our alter egos or whatever. I just wanted something that was fierce. Like, I would have said Lons Fierce, but that kind of sounds like a poor name. So I was like, no. Nope. They would have thought she was Beyonce's white cousin. Yeah, yeah. So we could have did that. So I was like, you know what? You know, Lons is just me anyway, that's what I always knew. And then Pierce was just kind of like stepping into being, as a woman, just being fierce and taking on that persona. And for the people that don't know, Lons is actually a, a lyricist. Yes. You're a, you're a rapper. I'm a, I'm a MC, yeah. And right now they can't see the, the visuals from Street League Movement. So she's white, y'all. I got a beautiful white rapper. <laughs> Not to be confused with those other girls. I, no, because you actually have bars. Thank you, yes. You're actually a lyricist. Like, that's why I didn't just call you a rapper. Like, you're really good. I mean, I study my craft, though. You know, like, it's this is not, like, a get-rich scheme or, right. like, a, like, you know, let's try to just be popping for the moment. Like, you know, I studied, I studied hip-hop, like, you know, like, fucking, like, can I curse on you? Okay. <laughs> Just, I mean, if it comes out, yeah. Try, try not, try not to. Try not to but if it comes out, you, you know. Let me let me passionately rephrase. Yeah. I study hip hop, like you know, the way that somebody would go to college and really put that work. Okay. In. Just, I love what I do. I get that from you, actually. Like, so how long have you been rapping? Um, I mean, forever it seems like, but I mean, I guess since I was like ten, you know, just. No, you didn't have to tell me your age. You just tell me how many years. Don't die. You can't do it. Don't know how old you are. Yeah, that's okay. I'm 23. That's okay. I can talk about it. All right, cool. <laughs> you know, never know in this industry, and you've been actually in the industry for a while. I have, yeah. Um, I first had a, a deal when I was 16, so. You know, it was just like an incredible time and space to learn and, and to grow. But, you know, I think I was just saying this earlier, like, you know, as an MC, what we pull from when we write is our own life experiences, right? So you have to go out and you have to live in, in order to actually be truthful and actually give great right. material. So I'm at the place right now where it's like, you know, yeah, I've had a deal and, and whatnot, but the, the independent space that I'm in and the like empower yourself, do it yourself movement has given me like all of the platforms and power to do and be who I want to be. So you're, you're feeling the indie route more than, I mean, who are you signed with? At the time, I was signed with Interscope. Oh, snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do Dre and all of those people? I mean, not directly, you know, and, and those people are still like the, you know, most incredible, uh, you know, mentors and people that I've got to cross paths with. That, right. That's why I've been blessed. But Snoop has definitely yeah. had some um, influence on your career. And he's like, you know, with Snoop, yeah. yeah, like, how was that? We just spoke a lot of weed. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I just walked in and smoked a lot of weed. Yes, how you doing? This is Michael Lowry. I love your hat. Thank you. Right, that's cool. Thank you. Where are you from? So I'm from Queens. I'm from Forest Hills, Queens. <laughs> Yes, yes. But also I have to rep for Jersey though because I kind of had that, that experience growing up where you had one parent in, in one state and the other one and you had to kind of have that split household thing. I thought you were from, I'm not even going to lie, like the UK or something because when I listened to your song, mm -hmm. I kind of heard like an accent. I was like, does she, is that sort of thing that you do in your raps or was I listening wrong? What? what? I heard an accent. What are you talking about? Okay. I thought it was like, I was like, um, I no. What are you talking about? No. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like from the UK who just listened to that was like you, you just like totally like you nah. know, did not represent for the culture right you could have lived it for a second got a little bit of an accent because I, when I was listening to the song I, I felt like I was like is she from yeah overseas no no I'm not from did overseas. you tour overseas with Snoop I didn't it was all US you know but we got to touch like you know Detroit Vegas That's Washington fine. That's yeah fine. like just great cities and, and and Snoop is like the ultimate performer and his right. audience is amazing too so they, that, was, every, that was great they know every word every ad lib yeah. even when like the just psh, everything just everything Snoop does they know already yeah you know for sure for sure I mean you know and just being it like as a, as a female yeah you know, to be able to you know, be embraced so young by somebody with like just an incredible career like that. It's yes. definitely a lot to live up to as well, you know? Well, you definitely have a lot of connections in the industry, you did some touring and even didn't Kanye even like recognize your talent? I, I can't say I've been blessed to work with Ye, but um, you know, I, I we definitely crossed paths and he's you know shown love and you know knows who I am and what Yes, that's, that's enough. Cause you know he be walking by his cousins like I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> she be honest about that lady 
this. You know what it I was? I showed up to this fake shit. I did, uh... <laughs> Crazy. Okay. <laughs> I think you, you, you might you might have a little rapper career in you. A little did, bit. What was that? I mean, you just, you just kind of... I give you, like, rapper? Because you did it with a little rhythm. Like, uh, it wasn't like... You didn't say it. Like, it was like... You had it. I rap for, like, a good three... When I, you know, have a three-month span where I try to rap. But then when I was younger, I did want to be a rapper. Like, who doesn't want to be a rapper? This looks so cool. It's like you're... What? I, but, I had a two hour career. Yeah? Nobody, <laughs> what, did, what did you go by? What was your name? My name was, um, actually it was back in the day, I was like seven years old in my mom's stepdad's barbershop. They called me Future. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't get in the game with that name now, thanks to somebody who's been killing the airwaves, but now I think, I guess I would just go as, um, the sh Ray Kwan took the chef. Um, Mike Lowry. Yeah. Uh, I'll just go with Mike Lowry at this point. Cool. But with you, so why do you feel like it's so hard for a female MC to break through in this industry? Yeah. Especially when you have so many like, connections and you know these people, like, what is it? I mean, for me, though, I've just taken my time, though, because like I said, like, you know, it, when, when you do take your craft really seriously, you want to be at your best, you know? But, yeah. but I think really what it is is that there's just, like, a lack of substance, you know? And yeah. there's, there's, there's really no connection and no identity. It's like, you know, when, when I fell in love with, with hip-hop or just in music in general, like, you know, you were not just buying into records. They weren't just one-off records. You were buying into identity and a persona, right. you know? Yeah. And, and I just feel like, you know, the music nowadays is just, it's, it's just missing something. Like, you know, as young women, we don't have anything to connect to. You know, yeah. like at the end of the day, nobody's one side. Nobody's always like twerking and you know. They was twerking. Oh, you met her? I saw her. I mean, I didn't see her twerk, but you know. She I, was twerking. I, I mean, like if you could get a record deal for twerking, she, you know. Maybe. She, she went. Yeah. No, she actually twerks for no reason. But don't worry about her. I actually like Shh. what what I could tell about. Wait, did I just get? Um, did, I, did I just get? I don't know why. I, I just heard like a sh sh noise. Continue. <laughs> Hold on. This is what I'm saying. Like a lot of people, and I can tell you're different. A lot of people have connections, right? And they expect just because they have the connections, they don't really have to do work that they'll get carried. What I can tell about you is you have the connections, but you're not just content with the connections. You have the connections, and you're like, you know what? Let me make sure they know what I'm doing. Let me make sure you have this product. Let me make sure I'm true to myself when I stay to myself. So you put out your music, you perfect your craft, you sharpen the art. And then the people see it, and then now your connections is like, you know what, we really want you to succeed just due to the fact that you don't just use them to just to know them, but just to stand on couches a while out of right. being on stage, that you're actually learning from them, perfecting your craft, and becoming the best rapper that you can be individually. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, you know, I just want to make music that, like, you know, generations from now, like, young women can be like, that's my rep, that's my voice. Yeah. Like, she reps for me. That's like, dope. She understands me. Like, timeless like, music. Thank you. Yeah. Like, Cole, to me, like, the reason why he's gotten to the place he's gotten to is because it wasn't like he came out with big hits right away. Who was this? Cole. Cole, J. Cole. J. Cole. Oh, okay. It was because he, he, he came out with music that was like, you know, like, it, it felt like the inner thought. Like, he, he was Yeah, but he let Nas down. No, no, joking. We know, we know. No, but I definitely got that from the Immediately when I watched the video, I was like, she has a lot of substance. Yeah. Like, you're not just giving us, like, popcorn rap. Like, no. sometimes people rap and just, like, top rock, I don't, like, but you're actually, like, telling a story. So, who are your biggest, like, influences musically? Um, I mean, you know, Nas, uh, M, uh, J, Pac, uh, Big, Lauryn Hill, mm -hmm. um, you know, Missy Elliott, uh, like, even if we go off of, like, hip-hop for a second and just go to, like, other, yeah. you know, like, um, like, I loved, uh, John Lennon and I loved, like, you know, El like, Elton John and Bob Dylan because they were just storytellers, wow. yeah. were writers. I like Steely Dan, people don't know that about me. Yeah. That's I crazy. love Steely that's Dan, crazy. Big Black Cow, that's my joint, but it really is, but, um, you, I'm sorry, but I just have to ask this because as a Caucasian rapper, mm -hmm. people have to, like, compare you to, like, the Iggy Azaleas or, like, the Cray Shawns, and what do you feel, like, sets you aside from those girls? I mean, I don't get compared to them when they hear my music, but, uh, The fact that she's like, literally say, separates I'm her from Cray Shawn, because Cray Yeah, I don't, you, you don't hear yeah, I don't even... Here's the thing that bothers me, right? Let me just set the record straight. I okay. hate how the mentality has been for women forever that, you know, we have to combat against each other and we have to tear each other down in order for us to feel like, you know, like, that's it. Like, we're the one, right? Right. Like, 
here, here's how I feel about it. Like, you know, I don't know their music because that their music doesn't appeal to me. But mm -hmm. I will say this, as, you know, it's hard enough for a woman to break into the game. So, like, whatever that they did to get there, at least, like, you know, like, hand clap somehow that you were able to get there. Right. But at the end of the day, people see through it. The transparency is, is like, can you make consistent great music? So, okay. So, like, you know, as a white female rapper, I feel like I just get, you know, at first people are like, uh, like, I get the look like, yeah, ah, no. Like, or they just, you know, they ignore it. They don't believe in it. But like, you know, I kind of like that because I get to be the secret weapon. You have a secret know. weapon and people are going to get that. Today we're going to have you do a, like a little yeah, right. so By the way, New York, I, I don't even really know what beat we're about to do. This is this is what we do though. This is what real MCs do. This is not practice. This is not, this is like... Straight off the tizzy. I mean, you know, we're so just going to make it work. So we're going to turn our mics off. You're going to mic check yours and then we're going to build. All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 check, Lance Pierce, Lance Pierce, yeah, uh, New York, uh, look, uh, look, uh, I bet on me, bro, no casino, bus flows like cherries, no maraschino, reaching for a better me, though, yeah, uh, uh, blessed by holy water, no Pellegrino, musically inclined, all I hear is C notes. All I touch is foreign cars. Never get them repo. Yeah, yeah, never get them repo. Fuck with me, I got it. Hashtag repost. Yeah, yeah, hashtag repost. Coming from the top of the dome. Like I just, like I just busted it, busted it. Yeah, I'm waiting, I'm touching it. Ethos, my motif in beast mode. I eat hoes, then blow up like C4. Bitch, take a seat though, your shit ain't tight. Yeah, yeah, ain't no key goes. Uh, yeah, a fly like a seagull. Looking for your talent, long time, finding Nemo. Yeah, uh, don't watch me, watch Vivo. My whole team, we all good, we all popping. Clico, my vision, Coleco. Yeah, yeah, and yo, the flow be so lethal. Uh huh, yeah, and then I speak it for the people. Yeah, and then I speak it for the people. They always want more, like they asking for the sequel. I put it in so they so, like Intravino. Yeah, uh, and yo, a little pizza and vino. I smoke low, smoke low, and I blow till my eyes get low, like a little Asian at me. So, yeah, they say I got that Nas in me. Yeah, but no Kalisto. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Stop the door, man. Ow! No, you said good. You said it's got it tight, no kegos? Got it tight, no kegos. Yo, girls don't be doing the kegos. What? I knew that you were doing it. Hey, Lucy Goosey. That's a whole other topic. What? But where can we find more of your music? Lonspierce.com? Lonspierce.com, Twitter, at Lonspierce, YouTube, Lonspierce. I'm not out Yo, when you do a video, I want a cameo. I can just walk by. What you want me to do? I'm down. I'm too I mean, line. I just want you to be there. Like, you're good. Whatever you want to do, just post that. I'm most developed. Don't worry. What's happening? What? No, but now, I know you know, the, move, the movement is dope. Like, the movement is real dope. I appreciate that. But you actually look really lyrical. Like, yeah, I mean, I just, you know what? Like, at the end of the day, like, you know, you could, you could, you could, you could put all these rehearsed things out. You could be like, you know, synthetic from a label. But it's like, at the end of the day, people respect.